In this lesson, we will use Python dictionary data structure to create an emoji converter. Whenever we type a colon, closing first bracket in chat boxes, it is converted into this smiley emoji. If we type colon and opening bracket, then it is a sad face. This is what an emoji converter is. It converts this string into emoji. And we're going to build this cool program in this lesson using Python dictionary data structure. First of all, we need a variable. Then use the input function to take input from the users. It will tell the users, type your message. And whatever the user will type will be stored in this variable. There is a string method called split. It splits the string. We are using space here. Now this split method will split the message into words whenever there is a space. Let's store the separated words in a variable named separated words and print it. Then run the program to see what happens. Here we can see our message. Let's type in Hi, how are you? As soon as I hit enter, we can see the split words on the terminal window. So, this is what the split method does. The first part of the program is done. Now create a dictionary named emoji. We create a dictionary using curly brackets. Remember? The first key of our dictionary is this string. Colon. Then closing first bracket. We are all familiar with it. So this is our key. We separate the key and the value with a semicolon. Now the value is the emoji. If you are from Windows, press Windows key and dot key together. Then this emoji window will show up. If you are from Mac, then press Ctrl plus Command plus a space to get this emoji window. From here, choose the smiley emoji. And that's it. Now the string is the key and the emoji is the value. Let's do the same for sad emoji. Use a comma here to add another key value pair. This time, this is the key. And this is the value. So this part is complete. Now declare a variable named output and make it empty. Then use a for loop for word in separated underscore words, then colon, and hit enter. Now we are in the for loop. This time, Use the get method to avoid error message. The input argument is the word. We can set a default value here. That is also going to be this word. Now use the augmented assignment operator and store it in the output variable. We need to concatenate a space here. Finally, print the output outside of the for loop. Run the program. We can type the message here. Let's type, how are you? Then a smiley. Here we can see the program instantly converts the smiley into a smiley emoji. Rerun the program. This time I'm typing, I'm sad with a sad face. Again, the program has converted the sad face into a sad emoji. Very interesting, right? So this is an example of Python dictionary data structure. That's all for this lesson. Let's go to the next lesson.